Hi. Uh, I've been reading on the forums people talking about the Harbor Freight Press. Thank you very much. And they're using it. And one thing I don't think I really emphasize enough, there is one part on a Harbor Freight Press that is really, in the long run, not appropriate if you're using it as a cider press. In fact, what I kind of recommend is you set it aside before you break it because you might need a bearing press. You know, it could happen. So stay with me. Okay, there's the press, and I call this the traveling beam. That beam that comes with the original press has a pin directly beneath the hydraulic cylinder, and that's what's so important. It's directly beneath the hydraulic cylinder for pressing out bearings, and I've used it for that before I turned it into this, and that's super important, but when you're pressing racks, you're dividing the load across the beam and the beam will buckle. Uh, I've had a beam buckle, a commercial cider operation had a beam buckle, and it's kind of disappointing. Now, I weld, and what I did was I took two sections of square tube, and you can see that here, and I welded them together to form a very strong, this is thick wall square tube by the way, you measure the gap, get the appropriate tube, get thick wall, and get a nice heavy bead down there. And you can see I put the retraction springs in because that supports this. Someone said I don't need this, they're right, but hey. But anyway, and then I put pieces of side C-channel here just to guide it. This will not fold, and this will predictably last a very, very long time. So I do want to point out, if you're building one of these presses and you're really going to push it to 20 tons, which I do, you might want to proactively replace your travel beam with a more robust traveling beam. And given the measurements, you could probably go into a welding shop and there's a put one together for you, no big deal. You're going to need this because you had these on the other one and that's to hold the beam up. And as you go down, beam goes back up. You're going to need those. And those are just eye hooks welded on. I put a little tax on, got them in place, blasted them with a bunch of uh, weld and it worked. I used a MIG welder for this, a large MIG welder, but there's no reason why you couldn't use a stick welder for those of you into the jargon. But anyway, Harbor Freight Press, wonderful thing. Replace the travel beam with a more rust, robust travel beam. Save the old one. Yeah, you may need to press out bearings someday. Comes in really handy. Okay, that's it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.